Good afternoon, it's Friday afternoon and we're almost ready for our next adventure. But first, I need to drop the dogs off so they can start their adventure here in the kennels. Let's see how they're feeling about that. Here they are, look. Are you ready for a holiday? Right, that's them dropped off. They don't really care. Always happy to, uh, to get in the kennels. Which is a good thing because it means we don't have to worry about them whilst we're away. So time for me to get back now, get the motorhome packed up, get Beth to finish work, and uh, then we're off. So let's get at it. It's 5.30, which means I am done for the day and for the week for work. So now it's time to put the last few things in the van and head up the road and see how far up the M6 we can get before we need to stop. It was supposed to be afternoon, wow. but we're almost <laughs> evening, so I'm not entirely sure what we're calling it, but that's not what's important, because what's important is we're on the move and we're in the van. Yes, we are. So, where are we off to this time, dear? Very pleased you've asked. We're off to the Lake District, which we're really excited about because um, we have been to the Lake District but many, many years ago. But the kids were little tiny, weren't they? Yeah, just to head yeah. to a, um, well, like a Centre Park slide. Oasis, if yeah. anybody remembers, 20 years ago. So we've never been and explored the actual lakes themselves, so that's where we're headed. But it's Friday night and... Um, Feelings, right? No, but that's not what it is. It's Friday night and officially we're not booked onto the first site till tomorrow. So yep. we are heading up and we're going to do a pub stopover. Now this is, um, it's only our second pub stopover, yeah. but it's the first time we've actually headed off without having booked our destination and our place to stay so um, being Friday we're not entirely sure how far we're going to get because of how much traffic we're going to hit so Beth is going to freestyle it yep. as we get up there and we're going to going to book it on the hoof as it were mm -hmm. and um, yeah we're not really ones for doing that because we like to have everything planned yes we're planners so this is the dilemma it's 20 past six we've only just left home and we want to get as far as possible to the lakes. Ideally, I would like to get past Manchester. I think uh, that's probably unrealistic. But I it, think Birmingham is going to be as far as we get. Uh, I'm going to be disappointed if it's only Birmingham. But Birmingham. we need to get somewhere in a pub, having eaten before closing time. So um, <laughs> who knows? We it's, just need to wait and see. It is real jeopardy, yeah. This is not us at all, but I managed to persuade Ricky that we would just um, yeah, see where we get to. So uh, we might be in a lay-by, we might be at a motor motorway services. Hopefully we'll be in a pub, but... Pub somewhere nice, know. with good food, a nice pint of beer before we hit bed to... Uh, then we'll be well on our way, so in the morning we can just do the final bit to the lakes and uh, start enjoying the lakes straight away, really. That's yeah. the plan, isn't it? So uh, what we need to do now is we need to get the radio cranked up, get the tunage on, get as far as we can basically okay, so as we progress forward we need to kind of work out who i'm going to phone up and say do you have any space tonight can you do gluten free food um can yeah. we stay i know it's currently now nearly half past six and we haven't even left swindon but i'm sure for most of the guys out there this is perfectly normal it's just it's not normal for us no this is living right on the edge this is like the alternative of Theresa May running through a field of wheat. This what? is like our. I'm not people, entirely sure this is anything like that. People will get the reference, okay? Right. Anyway, anyway, we're waffling now. We need to get on. And um, yeah, basically, we'll update you in a bit. Yeah. I think is what we're trying to say. Yeah, we'll speak to you in a bit. Bye. Bye.
anyway, not the best of starts to our journey. We've, we're miles from the motorway, um, the first motorway, and we're already sat in traffic. That's not completely true. Well, we are sat in traffic. Well, we're moving though. I mean, we're not stationary, we're still half empty glass. I haven't even got a glass. Oh, so, how do you explain that? And. I haven't got a cup of coffee either. No. But that's a different ball game altogether. We were stationary when I started talking about it. I'm hungry. Are we nearly there yet? Yeah, why don't you have a little sleep? Then we'll be there. Okay. Home wave. <gasps> okay. Unbelievable. Good wave. This is it. This is, it's all gone to part. That's so, so sad. Uh, Nowhere near as far as I would have wanted. It's not what you would have wanted. But we had to bear in mind that food is only being served to half eight, nine o'clock. So this was the best we could do. So it's just gone eight o'clock. We're not quite there yet. So by the time we get there, parked up, settled in, uh, they stopped serving food about half eight. So we should be just in time. So it's a nice little dead end. Quite next to, quite near the M6, so apparently you can hear some road noise. But um, shooting in sort of new traffic. So we're just about to up, and here we are. We've arrived. Oh, it's quite busy, and there's another motor home in the car park. So we've got some company tonight. Oh. Right then, let's get parked. Really stuffed. You what now? I'm stuffed. I'm really stuffed. Did, but was it worth it? It was worth it, but you might have to carry me to the motorhome. It's quite a way, right? I can't make it. So we just had a lovely meal in the wheat sheaf here. And we've got to walk now back to the van after our fantastic meal. Yeah, it's quite a way. There she is. So we've had a really nice meal in the Wheat Sheaf Inn across the way, and we decided not to um, have electric cook up because I think it was a five pounds and we don't really need it. So um, no shower and therefore no hair dryer. Well, we thought the shower, but I won't because I can't dry my hair. So it's gonna be a wet white situation. So I've bought some new fresh wipes to try that I saw advertised on Instagram or something like that. So I um, thought they looked quite good, quite eco-friendly. I'm not a big fan of a wipe, but sometimes needs must. Um, so I'll give the wipes a try and let you know what I find. So here are the fresh wipes. So I decided to buy some after our last couple of wild, well, off-grid camping experiences. So extra thick wipes, you've got 12. I think one wipe is supposed to do you top to toe and in that order, top first, then down to toe. So antibacterial body wipes with, I'm not sure what that chemical is, but I'm hoping it's not too potent. So they should have a light coconut scent, removes dirt, sweat and body odour. They are plastic free and they are also 100% biodegradable. So 
all in all as far as wipes go not too bad so it says on here they're made from 100 percent biodegradable plant fibers so that's good one wipe to clean your body no need to rinse and do not use on your face i'm going in with a wipe okay so one hand is not that easy but they are a decent size i'm not sure one wipe's gonna do the full job that i would want instead of a shower but you know i'll give it a try give it a try the wipes were really good. One wipe was enough to give everything a once over, top to toe, um, didn't leave any sticky residue. It was a really pleasant, not strong fragrance. Um, and yeah, did the job. Didn't break up, um, sort of like some wipes can sort of disintegrate. Didn't do that. Uh, so yes, I would highly recommend them. Not bad at all. from the Wheat Sheaf Inn. How was your sleep last night? It was quite good. Um, there was a little bit of noise, wasn't there? But it yeah. was pretty decent. Yeah. The hear. rain actually was the most noisy. Yeah, that's true. It woke me up. Yeah. To be fair, but we had a nice um, meal, didn't we? Yep. In there. And then, yeah, free, free sleep. And then as over there, there's an electric hookup. And we had one set of neighbours over there, but just in that, on that right hand side. Oh, there is the electric hookup if you want it for five pounds. But yeah, right. we just uh, slid in sideways, as it were. There's parking spaces here that vans seem to tend to park in, but these trees are a little bit low. So uh, yeah, but yeah, highly recommended. Right, we're not putting that on, so you can just stop it now. Now it's not actually well, any of our videos. You're going to charge me? I am. No, you're not. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? Right. You video yourself, kiss my... Three, two... We're not putting this on the video, so you can no. stop now, you clown around. <laughs> that, that's rude. Look, the traffic's fine. Look, jogging along. Jogging? Mind you, to be fair, you do jog very slowly, so right. maybe it is jogging along, so... Yeah. 